Another ministry of the youth is in the spoken word, right? There's the written word, but there's also different power in the spoken word. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so let's learn to practice that, you know, speak out the word of the Lord. When we pray, speak out a prayer, praying scriptures, amen, because there's power, because there's life in the words of the Lord from the scriptures. So let's call on our youth, not him, <laughs> you know, God has just opened many uh, avenues, right, to just allow the young people to express themselves and show how much they love the Lord, not just in dance or drama or in singing, but also in the spoken word. So let me call on Andre and Ryan, Pastor Ryan, to come up here and minister to us through the spoken word. All right. Blood, sweat, and tears. I don't understand why people keep talking about how these three are what they use to accomplish what they do. I understand their implication of using effort to accomplish whatever they want to do. However, I don't understand why it applies to you. It may be building a creation, maybe creating a nation, but no one got to their predestination on just blood, sweat, and tears. You see, I believe it takes faith and not just a little belief. I believe that faith is something that you have to know, something that you feel inside of you, something that you can't leave without, something that can take you from the depths of hell up to the rises of heaven. I believe that faith is what brings people to stand up here on the pulpit. What brings people here to spread the word, spread the good news? I believe faith is what takes the homeless people of the streets to billionaires feeding orphans in need. And it's not just a huge, it's not because they have a huge amount of faith, not a huge heart. It's because they had the faith to believe. And it's not just a lot. All you need is a little bit, the size of a mustard seed. You see, in Mark, in Matthew 17, 20, for if you had the faith the size of a mustard seed, you'd be able to move mountains and part the seas. This mountain is anything that you see in your way. And the sea, that's the troubles you don't need. Well, as for me, I believe, I believe that I can move any mountain with my faith the size of a mustard seed. Thank you. I'm just going to reprise this morning for those that weren't able to hear. Relentless. I am relentless. I am because the great I am still is in pursuit of greater things I am I am relentless for my God is I am relentless and I'm standing on the threshold breaking down strongholds am I too scared or am I too bold I am relentless surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses I lay down all weaknesses forgetting what lies behind eyes of the prize I see that I may find Light in the darkest night, hope for humanity's plight, freedom to set captives free, salvation for you and for me. I am relentless. A voice of one in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight paths for him, for he calls out, who shall I send? Who will go for us? I am. Here I am, Lord, send me. I am. For when others stood, we bowed our knees and prayed. And when others bowed in shame, we stood in God's almighty name. For we run to win the prize, forgetting everything that hinders. In Christ we fix our eyes. I am relentless, for I have returned and saw under the sun 
that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor yet bread to the wise, or riches to men of understanding, or favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Only the sovereign God is in control. I am relentless. I am relentless. And I pursue the greater. A thousand may fall at my side, 10,000 in my right hand. We do not fear, we do not falter. Hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, never ever destroyed. I am relentless. I am relentless. And in pursuit of greater things, I cry out to the Lord. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank forever God for he is the shepherd of my soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds me and shall find me unafraid, unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. Jesus Christ is the master of my fate. He is the captain and the Lord of my soul. I am relentless and I pursue the greater, yet I am but a man. But he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I am relentless. I am relentless. We are relentless. We are relentless. Tell yourself, I am relentless. Oh, I can hear you. I am relentless. Amen. Even when I was in my sick bed in January, the spirit in me was relentless. You know, pushing for what God has in store, especially for that project for the multipurpose center next door. How many of you are excited about that project? Amen. And let's not just let that project be on a wall that we see and stare at, but something we go out there and do something so that it can be done and it will come to pass. And we'll see that next door space, not just a basketball or storage that it's now at, right? But something with rooms, with a special, you know, um, hall like this that we can reach out to the community, right? So there's more things to be done, so I challenge everyone, let's get involved, let's uh, help our friends also to get involved in this project. So if you want to give towards that ministry, you can approach me or anyone in the leadership, and we also have the, the uh, uh, Iglesia Camino and the Luz. I'm also involved with that as our sister church in the Lord, amen?